What is up guys, HF Masters here. Today I have another Hero Faction mock review, but before I start on it, I just want to apologize for not uploading like anything. Also, I'm going to apologize for um, what you will be hearing. You probably will be hearing my brother screaming from downstairs. Also, um, I do not have the white background for this review because I moved again. I did not say anything about it this time. Although I'm not moving again, and that's a hundred percent guarantee. What is your parents? <coughs> but oh, and also another thing. I'm not using what I'm usually using, so it's kind of hard for me to reach. So I uh, just if I like move this around like see. It's just because I'm using a different thing. So let's uh, get looking at this mock. First of all, he is the Brain Lord's minion. Well, one of them. I mean, the Brain Lord, if you can remember from when I made him, he was pretty massive. And how he had the brain staff, but there's no way. Just think about it. Just think about it. How could he, you know, how could he even create Minions. How could he have a scheme like this? Minions. And this is just one of the. I'm not giving him a specific name. But let's look at his legs. The legs are just, you know, basic. I added these. It's very nice and easy. This also is like the only red armor here. But since this black covers basically all of it, it's kind of just like the quasi spikes and the fire core. And the uh, red hand claw thing. And on the side, though, I used a different technique than usual. I actually decided to use six sized, and that is rare for me. You probably have seen it from my brother, and he probably even did it on his um, version of. Well, you know, his mock. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But I don't do it. I really don't do that. It's very new. It's just a new style. On the back, I decided to actually use this old body style. Because it works better if you want to add something like over here. Let me show you. Uh, it's hard. Also, you can see, I just used Core Hunter's head and put it in a different angle. So, here's the head, it's Core Hunter's head, just as I said, it's just, here's Core Hunter's head, and all you have to do is just put it up, just, I don't know if it's like a 180 or a 90 degree, like, spin, I think it's a 90, but I'm not sure, also, there are three quad spikes for each side, and these are not just quad spikes, these actually control him, like the witch doctor, although when these are all gone, he dies. He's one of the few people that actually will die once um, stuff is gone. Also, he has a very cool weapon. It's kind of strange, it's just slashes, really. It's basically just this weapon, this uh, little spike piece that we got introduced in 2.0. It's like Jetbug, he had this for a weapon. But my purpose is different. Like in the TV show, Jetbug used it to like fire. To do a if you heard that, which you probably did, that is my brother. I'm very, 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 very sorry. But this is from Jetbug, and it it just this is really meant to slice, not meant for any other purpose. And I gave it a claw hand because I mean, you can still slice with this version, but it's a little bit different. First of all, if he can, you know, grab, he will grab, and this is actually different. It can poison the hero's hero core. It doesn't really do that much besides poisoning, and if it doesn't really, just doesn't really work that much. So, this is basically it. I did not do a piece count, and, I mean, some of you might ask how much piece is. I did not do a piece count, so... 
Usually, I think it would be around 50 pieces. I'm, I could do a how-to on him if you wanted me to. It's a little bit hard. Yeah. So, until next time, this is Master's signing.